Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Mr. Nightingale here, and today I've got another synthetic wig review for you all. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe down below to keep up with my wig journey. Also, I am so sorry, I probably don't sound very well today. My nose is super stuffy and my allergies have been kicking my butt the last couple of days, so I apologize ahead of time. So the wig that we're reviewing today is by the K-Liss, maybe it's Kaliss? I'm gonna go with K-Liss store, and it is called the K-Liss 32 inch triangle knotless box braided wigs with boho curls, 13 by five transparent lace front braided wigs with baby hairs, black, lightweight synthetic lace frontal wigs for women. Let me also show you all what the product is looking like right over here. And I'm super excited because I've never seen a wig like this in person before. I have actually gotten box braids in the past before. I'll leave a photo somewhere on the screen for you guys to see. And I actually did that as a protective style a couple of winters ago, and I really liked it. I just love how beautiful and intricate they can be sometimes. You might not know this about me, but I am Cuban. I was born in Cuba in the Caribbean. And back in the Caribbean, braided hairstyles are all the rage. Super excited to try this on and see if it compares to the box braids back home. Now this video is not sponsored, but this wig was sent to me to review for you all. So if you're interested in it, I'll have it linked down below so you can check it out. I love reviewing these Amazon wigs for you all because they're so accessible and I just want to be able to help as many people as I can. All right, well, let's check it out. So this is the package that the wig comes in and you can see that there are care instructions in the front and then it's got the brand name on the back. I'm just gonna go ahead and open the package. So inside, it looks like it comes with wig caps, some eyelashes, and it looks like it even comes with little gems or beads. I'm not quite sure what you will call these, but little golden cuffs to put on the braids. Super cute. And then obviously what you're all here for, the wig itself. Let me go ahead and remove it from the netting. Oh wow. Look at how long this wig is. So beautiful. It does come very secure. I'm just removing all of the packaging from it and I'm so glad that they took the time to take care of this unit because it is a very delicate unit and it does come with some beautiful features that we're gonna go into pretty shortly. Wow, okay, that packaging is really great. And I'm looking at it right away. It does look like the lace is a little bit darker than my own skin tone. And it does also come with a little card inside of the wig. I'm going to remove that. And the wig itself looks very beautiful right from the start. The wig is 32 inches, super long, super beautiful. As you can see, the wig comes with baby hairs in the front, which are very beautiful, and such a gorgeous triangle braiding pattern. Here's a close-up of what that lace looks like. And it does come with a 13 by five parting space. So the inside of the cap is very beautiful. It looks like it comes with two combs in the front, one comb in the back. It also has adjustable straps and it even comes with an adjustable headband. That's incredible. And obviously the hair is braided, so I'm not getting any tangling or any shedding. All right, well, let's just go ahead and try her on.
This is so wild to me. These look so good. So let's take a look at this braiding pattern real quick. So obviously ignore my wig cap. We're going to fix that when I cut the lace off. But look at this beautiful braiding pattern. And I am able to part all along that 13 by 5. And actually this is super lightweight. When I got my hair braided, it was so heavy. This honestly is lighter than a lot of wigs I've worn. That's kind of crazy. It's also really interesting to me because when I had my hair braided, I wasn't really comfortable wearing it without a headband. So I'm curious to see what this is going to look like. I'm probably gonna end up putting a headband on anyway, but I do wanna lay the baby hairs and show you all what it looks like without the headband. So I'm definitely gonna make sure to do that. And this versatility with this parting space, oh my gosh. I'm super excited to try like a half up style. In fact, let me try that real quick. Let's see what that could look like. You know, obviously I'm gonna do a better job than this, but you get the idea. All right, wow, I'm super excited. Let me just go off camera, cut the lace off, and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. All right, everyone. So I am back with my final thoughts, but first, let me give you all a quick turnaround so you can see what she's looking like. Here she is from the side. Here she is from the back. Here she is parted in the back. Here she is to the other side. And here she is back to the front. Okay, can I just say this is actually like really incredible. I am so blown away right now. So again, here's that little top knot moment for you all. And honestly, I'm just loving how it looks in a top knot. So all in all, I would definitely put this wig into my nine category. I think that it's very realistic when done right. I mean, honestly, this wig will take some effort. Granted, if that lace matches your skin tone, it's not going to be nearly as much work as it was for me. And honestly, you might think that this wig is expensive at first glance, but in reality, it's not. Have you ever gotten your hair braided? It is very expensive. So being able to just throw on this style whenever you want and being able to just take it off at the end of the day, to me, honestly, is worth so much more. That all being said, I think you're getting this wig for an amazing price. So let me actually go ahead and take down this top knot to show you guys what it's looking like. Also, before I finish taking it down fully, I wanted to show you what it looks like in this beautiful half up, half down, where you just kind of leave everything in this little ponytail. Super cute. Okay, and this is what it looks like with the hair down. Now, I'm not as big a fan of having the hair down, like just in general with my face shape and with everything, but I know some of you are going to want to see what that looks like. I cannot say enough good things about this wig. I think it's just so beautiful. Honestly, I only have two cons to this wig. The first one being, again, that lace color doesn't really match my skin tone, but honestly, I feel like I made it work just fine, so not a huge deal. And then the second thing is just the lace area. So the lace is absolutely beautiful, no complaints there, and the braiding pattern is gorgeous. But let me give you a close-up to show you what I'm talking about. So I have brought the hair forward so that you can see what I'm talking about. As you can see, up here is where the lace ends and then the tracks begin. And so it can be a little noticeable if you wear the hair down in your face or, you know, if you wear it kind of like this to the side, which I don't tend to do. And like I said, I prefer a top knot anyway, so that's a super easy way to hide that. Or alternatively, you could just grab these front pieces and then throw them back and that'll conceal that as well. Honestly, not a huge deal at all, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up. Braids are also amazing for these kind of like half up, half down styles. Super cute. And personally, I love leaving just like a piece in the front, maybe two on either side. Let me actually show you what that looks like. So obviously do a better job than me, but you get the idea. So cute. I also wanna show you all what it looks like as a side part because that's how I would realistically wear this hair. Okay, so realistically, this is probably how I would wear it if I were to wear it down, but most likely, I would just have it in the top knot. Yeah, I hope you guys can see just how versatile this unit is. It is amazing. Honestly, I pretty much got no complaints. So I've seen other people review braided wigs like this before, and they usually look really good from the front, but really bad from the back. One thing that I really like about this wig is that the braids on the back were actually sewn down, so the tracks won't reveal as you part your hair or as you move around. 
Honestly, I feel like you can really see the level of care and the attention to detail that went into making this wig. Yeah, if you're into this braided style, I would definitely recommend this style for you. So beautiful. I can't say enough good things about it. Also, here are a few photos to show you the full length of the wig. Oh my gosh, 32 inches. So beautiful. Huge shout out to the K-List store for sending me this beautiful wig. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And don't forget everyone, if you're interested in this unit, I'll leave the link down below so you can check it out. All right, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and I'll see you all next week. Bye everyone.